Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Storm. In this video, I'll be teaching you that how one can read data from file using Apache Storm. I hope you must have understood the stuff uh, beforehand. Um, um, I hope the previous videos from, uh, from Apache Storm background, I hope you must be uh, understood. In case you have any doubt whatsoever, you can comment, right? So in today's video, I'll be just taking you to the code straight away uh, so that how we can write a code for reading a file reading a data from a file right so let me just take you to the code for that code you can see that we are having three I've opened up the three different uh, tabs here and these three tabs correspond to, uh, correspond to three different classes as you all know that in order to uh, make the uh, topology for storm we need at least three classes one for spout one for bold one for topology okay uh, so let me just start with the spout here the scenario is that we have a one file in my home location let me just show you that file the file name is bk.txt in which I have just written the three uh, uh, lines of code uh, one is unboxing big data name of my channel so I've just written this uh, so what I'll be doing that this will be fed to the uh, spout it will be reading that data and what the port will do it will just append the this word YouTube to it and it will be presented to the terminal so this is our objective so we'll be sending this data right uh, the file reader spout will read that data and the simple board will do the transformation it will just append the word YouTube to the each and every word to that uh, thing it may uh, and, and it will be presented to the terminal so the resultant output will be unboxing YouTube big YouTube data YouTube this is the thing that we need to do it using this particular uh, little uh, practical right so uh, in this case in the first uh, class we have is spout class I hope you must be uh, uh, must be aware of the fact that every spout must be having five different methods which are mandatory ones which I've already have uh, discussed in the previous videos as well uh, which are open right and then we have next tuple and then we have declare output fields and then we have ACK and fail I've already have defined their uh, like a usage uh, like why we use these methods okay so there are some some of the new things are available which will be discussed in more detail discussing uh, these things in more detail today one is the field, uh, file reader then we have a buffered reader right I'll be discussing in a while this stuff first we have a uh, open right uh, I hope you must be aware of the fact that open is the place where we initialize the spout and set it up so that it knows which file to read and connect so you, in this open method only we'll be defining the logic to reading the data from a file so we'll be uh, opening the file that need to be read uh, within this open method and set it up so that we can read each line of that file as we go along so reading the file will be done in the open method okay so uh, first of all for reading that file we need this file reader so we first need a file reader object so th so will be have a member variable of this class which is a file reader right okay so uh, and when the, when set up that object within the open method the file reader object will require the path you can see here like using file reader uh, we just getting the path here right so when uh, set up that object within the file open method the file reader object will require the path it can assess the file so you can see this line this is nothing but it just uh, we just written uh, to just to get the uh, uh, path of that file right okay so the path of the path uh, the file path need to be specified here this file will be actually passed in through that topology using the config of the topology you can see this config right so like uh, in this open method we're just defining that let uh, uh, which file uh, path or which file we need to read so we need to specify this path here okay so uh, the, the file path need to be specified and this file will be actually be passed in through the topology using the config of the topology this config will be discussed later on in the topology section okay so when we um, set up the topology we first set up a, a parameter called file reader which will be have a file path which I already specified and spout will look for that parameter within the config and get the file name and part from the config so uh, I hope it is fine now so what is file reader so it is uh, first we need this uh, object so that we will be having a member a variable of this class which is a file reader so using this file reader will be reading the content of a file where we specify the file path okay next we have the the next thing which we uh, require is collector right next we uh, set up a collector object you can see here which we specify here as well okay 
so next we set up a collector object which will be required so that we can pass on the data to the next component in our topology the next component of this topology is bolt so using this collector so uh, we can pass the data to the next component to the bolt which can append the data to my uh, data which is uh, uh, available in the file right so uh, we get the uh, collector objects uh, that is that is passed with the open method and assigned to the member variable of our spout you can see it here right so the last thing uh, that uh, we need to initialize is buffered reader so the third thing we have is buffered reader because in this open method there are three major points to be discussed one is file reader which i discussed already using this we are just reading the file then i have specify collector and using the collector uh, which is uh, which is responsible for passing data to the next component and third one is buffered reader so this is the last thing which we need to initialize which is the buffer reader this object will help us in iterate through the lines of code okay so it will helping us in uh, uh, getting through the content in that file because in the file we may, we may have multiple lines of code it is helping us in iterating through those lines so we will we'll be able to assess the lines in the file one at a time each time the next tuple method is called okay when this next tuple method is called okay each and every time uh we'll be able to assess the lines in the file one at a time whenever this next me method next tuple method is called so i'll be just now switching to the next method which is the next tuple i hope uh, the open method is clear so in this case we are specifying the file path and then we are specifying the collector and then we are specifying the buffer reader and all the three things are having its own usage right okay the next is next tuple i hope i already specified in my previous video also that using next tuple it will be called multiple times by the spout right and until and unless the uh, the topology is running okay so in this case what we are doing is we are just specifying that when to stop reading right so in this case uh, uh, as you know that uh, that um, uh, the next tuple method is called continuously by the storm cluster as long as spout, spout is alive right so uh, in this case what we are doing is we are just um, putting a boolean flag here and we are just seeing it uh, in this case is that unless until and unless the whole file is not been read continuously emitting the tuples right you all know that the uh, events will be um, generated in the form of tuples which will be having the Uh, uh fields and values as the schema right and otherwise uh, un, uh when this flag is until uh, unless the all the data has not been read we need to continue continuously going the loop and uh when we done with this um, uh, uh with this uh, completion we need to set the uh, flag to the true so that we can uh, close with the file reading process right otherwise you can have this that otherwise we can generate a error here i hope it is fine so that the this uh, next tuple method is called multiple times and uh, because uh, if we have a uh, let's suppose 100 of lines of code uh, under lines in the file so it will be called 100, 100 times till the time the spout is alive so uh, one record at a time will be processed right okay so next next method we have is declare output field as you can see that there is only one string that we are uh, processing here so we only require a single field then field name is word i hope you know that declare output fields is used to define the schema of the tuples and we have a schema and we have a field name as word as as we are not dealing with the failure or reliability we are not uh, like uh, putting anything under the ack and fail methods i hope you, you must have understood the concept of the spout which is responsible for the uh, reading the data right now we have read the data now comes to the next point that we need to now put some transformations in order to uh, like uh, verify that whether the data is going through the bolt or not uh, so that's why we are just appending this word to it right so that we are, will be uh, justify we can justify that the data has undergone the bolt processing also uh, as you all know that bolt is nothing but is doing the transformations which is in, uh, on the data which is given by the spout okay as you know that the simple bolt will be extending the base basic bolt right it is a abstract class in the spout also it was extending the base rich spout which is also a abstract class ultimately uh, like uh, they are actually um, um uh, they are they are extending from their um, abstract classes in this case we don't have a clean up method we, uh, it is an optional method where uh, we uh, used to define the like uh, all the um, Uh, unwanted uh, connections or open links will be closed when the bolt shut down or the cluster uh, shut down right then we have a execute method in the execute method we define our transformation so transformation will be 
nothing but the appending the data right you can see that using collector uh, which we use in the spout also using the emit method of the collector class we are just um, appending the word to it right and then we have the uh, nothing but the declare output fields declare output fields is common between uh, spout and bold class where we define the schema of the tuple here we will be defining the schema of the output tuple okay so this is nothing but the simple uh, bold class and just let's uh, just come to the next third point which is our topology you all know that topology will be uh, consisting of the uh, 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 spouts and bolts uh, so in the topology let me just take you to the uh, main code only in this case we just defining nothing but the um, uh, combinations or how the uh, spout and bolt got linked with each other so using the builder class uh, we are just uh, uh, setting up the uh, spout using the set spout method we are giving the name of the spout and we are just defining the object of the spout class and similarly in the case of the uh, bolt also we are just using the set bolt method and we are defining the uh, nothing but the uh, uh, object of the uh, bolt class and then we are this both uh, bolts and uh, spouts called linked with the shuffle grouping shuffle grouping is nothing but when we define the uh, when we give the task to the uh, bolts in the in the fair manner that every uh, 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 that every every component of a topology will be getting the equal uh, amount of work to be performed right this is the default grouping we have in the case of stream grouping as I already specified in my previous video that we are having multiple type of groupings which are field grouping custom grouping all grouping so the default grouping is shuffle grouping here we are specifying that uh, that uh, how the um, uh, how the task will be distributed so task will be distributed in a fair manner right everyone will be getting the equal task right so then we have a config uh, then we have a configuration of a topology and using the set debug method means that uh, data will be uh, displayed on the uh, terminal or on the console or, or on the log and using the put method uh, we are specifying what file to read we are giving the path here right okay uh, then we are using the sum, uh, storm submitter to submit the topology for this i've already opened one uh, page here uh, it is the uh, nathan mars who was a developer of this um, uh, this uh, Apache Storm uh, framework. So on this GitHub uh, account, they have specified what is Storm sum Storm Submitter. You can see this. This using this class to submit topologies uh, to run on the Storm cluster. So like it is also a way to submit the topology on the Storm cluster. So I'm using this uh, class to submit the topology. We have already have uh, defined this package here as well. Uh, so using this uh, Storm Submitter, we are submitting a topology. Here we are passing the configuration object and we are passing the um, uh, object of create topology so uh, then we are also specifying that um, that um, that we are running on it on a local cluster you all know that there are two type of clusters uh, two type of uh, um, uh, submitting that stuff we can submit topology on the local cluster or on the production cluster so we are putting on a local cluster the name of the topology is test okay we are passing the configuration object and using builder class we are also passing the create topology method and then we are just uh, putting uh, the topology to sleep uh, after the uh, which is uh, we are passing the time here and we are also killing topology after the completion and finally we are putting the uh, uh, topology to the so cluster to the shutdown so uh, like because uh, the the cluster or the storm will be going in, in forever so uh, we don't want this infinite processing we want to have finite processing so after my uh, my task is over it will be uh, shut down right so uh, I hope you must have understood this uh, the stuff okay this is all about the three different classes that we have okay so now the time has uh, come to run this uh, topology for this I've already specified that how to run this I already made this jar file out of it uh, that you all know that how to get the jar we have already specified in my previous video so using that uh, the previous video uh, I'm just uh, putting the uh, uh, syntax here how to run this simply put storm space jar right let me now uh, storm space jar then we need to give the jar file name jar file name was it was need to check the jar was read file yes read file dot jar uh, then we name of this um, uh, packages trident basic and the name of the uh, topology class is c3 okay so let me now press this enter here and just see you'll see the answer in a, in a while 
it will take a little time to run syntax is storm space jar space uh, jar file locations space the name of the package dot the class name main class name c3 okay i'll stop you when i got the data you can see now okay i have just stopped it here otherwise it will be uh, uh, going forever you can see now we have got the answer mm, yeah you can see unboxing after bolt we have a big after bolt data after bolt this was the answer right because uh, these were the three words for the part of the file unboxing big data and after bolt was appended to it afterwards right so we have achieved the uh, target i hope you must have understood from this video that how we can read data from file in case if you uh, got some error in running this topology let me know uh, thanks for watching see you next video